Elliptical bikes are a relatively new thing. They're a cross between the elliptical machine you work out on in the gym and a bicycle. They allow you to get a total body workout while enjoying the outdoors. Each and every year elliptical bikes are becoming more mainstream and can be seen on city streets giving someone a high cardio low impact workout. If you've looked into elliptical bikes at all, done any research, or watched any videos, odds are you're comparing the same two manufacturers as most others do. Street Strider vs Elliptical They are by far the two most popular elliptical bike brands made today and both make a great product. But for as much as they're both well liked by this growing community, they're actually not that similar when you break down their differences. So what exactly differentiate these two exercise bikes? Elliptico is a pioneer in the high-performance elliptical bike market. Their products are an easy choice for cyclists who are after a slightly different workout routine. The Elliptico brand has added more products such as stand-up bikes and long-stride elliptical bikes to their lineup with unique riding motions and works on specific muscles during a workout. While street striders do not have the pioneer privilege, they took the cycling world by storm, their outdoor elliptical bikes are often chosen by beginners and riders that are after a more stable option. Their bikes have a third wheel that gives them this stability. The brand proudly says its mission revolves around fun innovation in exercising, as well as inspiring and supporting healthy, active lifestyles. Design If you've come across pictures of the elliptica bike and the street strider elliptical bike, you will notice how different their designs are while both share motion movements in the arms and feet, as the elliptical gym, street strider bikes gives you a better workout than the elliptic go. Due to its motion, the street strider is bulkier and heavier. The 3i weighs 53 pounds and is steered by leaning your body. The elliptic go has a slightly different design. Its handlebars are stationary and do not require arm movement. Like the street strider elliptical bike, it has a similar steering motion to a bicycle but your feet move in an elliptical motion and not circular. It also requires you to have a standing posture rather than a sitting one, while the elliptico gives you a little upper body workout. It is a high performance machine and lightweight, with the Arc 8 weighing just 37 pounds. Steering these two bikes have very different steering designs. The elliptical requires you to turn, handlebars, and lean slightly at certain speeds, while the street strider has a different steering process altogether. Idealize is a lean-to-steer system that follows the lean direction of the rider. This steering design makes the Street Strider themist preferred exercise bike, as it lets you exercise both your upper body and muscles. Comfort and stability While these two will give you plenty of comfort and ease, when working towards a fitness goal, they offer different levels of tension. The elliptical lets you ride while in a standing position and does not force you to hunch over to reach the handlebars. This ensures your shoulders are loose and relaxed, as well as your lower back. The elliptical pedals let your body weight carry ya while cycling, such that it feels more like walking or running, as you will not have to lift your body to pedal harder each time. When it comes to stability, the street strider is the ultimate winner. It is just as comfortable as the elliptic go with the elliptical pedaling and seatless formats, but the two wheels in front of the bike make it far more stable. With this bike, you pedal your legs and arms, which means your levers are working out in sync throughout the session, tuning and stabilizing your entire body. The similarities despite the various elliptico versus street strider battles that always put Thetwo against each other, other features unite two speed settings and options. While the speed will depend on the rider skill level and comfort, both companies have similar speeds that max out at 15 to 25. Speed difference is based on the biker's riding experience, and we recommend that if you are a new rider and purchase a bike with more speed, Increase your riding challenges with time to get the best from it. Capacity When discussing Street Strider vs Elliptico, we must talk about the weight capacity of both. They are almost like twins, with only one slight difference. Due to the bike's functionality, the Elliptico has a capacity of 250 pounds, while Street Strider 300 pounds. This difference is perhaps because Street Strider has a larger target audience for weight loss enthusiasts than Elliptico. Who is Street Strider best for? With an easily balanced frame and new age tuning mechanics the Street Strider presents both a fun experience for curious enthusiasts and a comfortable option for casual riders looking to move away from the traditional bicycle model. If you're looking for more balance than a typical twa-heel bicycle, provides ride in areas with straight paths and soft turns, and are interested in a workout that incorporates core exercises into turning mechanics, then the Street Strider will be a great fit for you. Who is the elliptico best for? 
This design rides like a very comfortable and maneuverable evolution of the standard bike that's familiar to most of us. Its mechanics offer improved posture, various speed options, and natural handling. For those who are used to biking on aerod or in the hills, the elliptico is sure to satisfy cycling purists who enjoy challenging themselves, riders will like flexibility when making turns, and newcomers how into full body workout while enjoying the perks off riding outdoors and comfort. Both the street strider crowd and the elliptical fans can rest easy. There's no loser here, as both companies have their own target market. Just by knowing your personality, you've probably already deduced which elliptical bike manufacturer best fits your needs. If you're in it for the exercise and need the ability to move inside when it rains, the Street Strider elliptical bike is better for you. It provides more of a full body workout with movement of the arms and leaning turns. If you're more of a thrill seeker or a person that just likes to do outdoor activities, consider the Elliptico Street bikes. They can be more fun and more extreme to ride. Let us know in the comments below which one you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this one and it helped you in any way, please give it a like. And if you don't want to miss future videos, subscribe to the channel till next time. See you guys later.